Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to video number 8 in Make a Game, a cool series on making a video game in Unity. Today's subject is animation, so we're gonna do everything in the animation window and we'll go into that in just a sec. But before then, uh, what you're seeing is today's featured project. Uh, it's called Moonwalk and it's made by Jacob Games using these tutorials. Uh, very well done. Uh, if you want to get featured next week uh, or have a chance to get featured, you can uh, write to me at Bracky's tweet on Twitter. That's also on the screen. Or if you want to know more about Moonwalk, you can click the link uh, or the annotation on the screen and, and see the video and download the game. It's, it's very well done. Congratulations, Jacob Games. Okay, so let's dig right into today's subject. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and just sort some of these uh, things out. I think we have a little too many objects here, so in the project pane. So let's right click, hit create folder, and let's make a material folder. So we're going to call this materials. Try again there. So and select all of the materials using holding down control. I'm pretty sure it's command on a Mac and then drag them onto the materials folder just to clear up some space. Cool, what we're going to be animating today is the coin object we made in the last video. Basically, we want this to rotate all the time um, until it gets picked up and then it disappears. You can see here what we laid, make, made last. Um, basically, when we roll into it, it just disappears. Uh, in the next video, we're going to do some particles that makes it look really cool whenever we pick it up. But before we go ahead and animate it, let's just select the ball and I really want to bump up the rotation speed. I think it's simply too slow. So I'm going to double that up to 200. Hit play and see if this feels right. Yeah, it's much more responsive now and, and feels uh, a lot more fun to control. Great. Well, basically, uh, there are multiple ways to do animation in Unity. And the three ways I can think of right now are uh, first of which through scripting. So basically, instead of animating it visually, you can go in and make a script that says, for example, if we wanted to rotate, that it should rotate a little bit each frame on a certain axis. Though that's too complicated for what we're going to do now. It's much easier to just make an animation. So that's what we're going to do. But you could also make an animation in another program and then use Unity's new uh, animation system called Mechanim. And that's using the animator here, which is now grayed out. And uh, that's also a more complicated thing. You use that if you want to like animate characters and such. But that's really difficult, so we're not going to get into that. If you want to know more about that, you can watch our survival games tutorial series. But basically what we're going to uh, do today is use the basic animation component. So we can just select the coin, go to add component, go to miscellaneous and hit animation. Not animator, but animation. Click that and now we can add an animation clip. But in order to do that, we'll have to first make a clip. So let's go to window animation or press control 6 to open it up and this is how it looks i really like to dock the animation panel down here by the project and then just drag it up quite a bit what we can do now is we can make our game view sit by the side of our scene view by simply dragging it over and dock it by the side here so we can see changing in both the game view and the scene view Okay, great. Uh, so basically what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be changing the transform of the objects. And uh, there is a new animation system coming in 4.3. This is version 4.2. So things might have changed just a bit since then. But basically what we're going to need is the transform component here. There's going to be a add um, add animation thing uh, button right here and what you need to add is the transform that's all we need to change is the transform great so what we're going to do is we're going to pre press this red button and that's going to allow us to create an animation call it whatever we want 
and we're going to call this um, coin rotate like that. And now you can see we can start changing the different variables here. And the animation editor is really cool because you can change pretty much any value uh, under the uh, stored on the game object. So that could be a we could change the trigger or we could change a light or we could change and yeah, we can change anything. You can also go down to the child, uh, children of the object and, and change some of them. But again, we're going to do the transform here. And what we want is the rotation Y. And the reason why is because this uh, green arrow here, that's the Y. You can also see it up here in the right hand of the scene view. And, uh, and basically, if we rotate around that, use that as a pivot, it will uh, rotate around this way. So if we go ahead and try to just change the Y over here on the right hand side in the inspector, we can see it rotating the right way. But uh, yeah, so basically this needs to start at zero. So let's make sure that the rotation Y is at zero. And then you can see this little thing, this little uh, key that you can press on the right hand side of the Y. Let's just press that and hit add key. Now that we have done this, it's made what is called a keyframe. And that's basically saying that when we are at this point in time, the rotation should be this variable. And you can see now here that we can change a timeline here. So we can scrub through time and you can see that this is one second. I'm pretty sure that's one second. We can go ahead and play it there. Um, so right now we don't have any movement because it always states at zero. But let's go ahead and just zoom out to two seconds here. You can zoom using the alt and scroll wheel. So zoom out to two seconds. And let's now change the rotation Y to 360, so 360. And now we can scrub through this and see our coin rotating. And once it gets to this point, it will stop. So basically, we can hit play and see it rotating. And right now, it's actually looping. But let's just make sure that it's looping correctly by using, going down here, where it says default, and selecting loop. So now select loop. And let's hit play. And I think the rotation looked just fine. Um, maybe we should just make it a little bit more slow. So let's do something like 2.4. Try again. But this is really up to you. I think this looks just perfect. So let's go ahead and stop the recording here. And now we just need to add it to the object. So let's just drag in this coin rotate wherever you saved it in the project and drag it onto the non animation clip here to add it. And now when we make sure that it says play automatically, and again that if we select it, it says loop not default, we can go ahead and hit play. Let's just bring up the game view here. Go ahead and hit play. And we can see the coin rotating infinitely. So this looks really awesome. And that's based the, that's the basics of using the animation window in Unity. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing what every project you're making. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.